Welcome back. This week I wanted to polish the gameplay a little bit. And by polish, I mean fix a bunch of bugs. The game so far is loaded with tons of them, but most of them are really small and I could fix them in a relatively short amount of time. A couple of these bugs are pretty big ones that seem to be plaguing my time. I only spend a few hours here and there every day trying to fix these little code craps. So I started off the week easy by fixing my character's crouch. I did this by removing the first sprite in the animation. This was able to stop that weird dancing effect that was going on. Enemies now face my player as well. The player can be damaged when an enemy attacks. As you can see though, the damage numbers are still really clunky. I'm being attacked and uh, the numbers are showing up on the, the enemy. That's fun. And not even remotely confusing to the player. This is my setup in my room. Yes, that is a bedside dresser that I use for a desk. Not really enough room in here for an actual desk. I spend most of my time here working on my graveyard tan and developing the legs of a paraplegic. In my spare time, I spend some of that working on video game development. Since the game I'm working on now is 2D and pretty simple, I only need a simple gaming laptop. This one is more than enough to handle it. Since I plan to be working on this game for a while, maybe a couple of years, there's going to be tons of enemy types, each with their own kind of behavior. So as I add more enemy types, I'm going to be adding new enemy AI to fit that behavior. Or like the perceived AI I think that enemy should have. This latest one I added is kind of clunky. I'm going to be giving it to flying enemies, like uh, this demon with wings. This guy will be a boss that the player fights later on in the game. In a closed area where uh, there'll be like platforms to jump on and the character will have to jump on them to like hit the sides of the enemy while avoiding that blue flame. The week wouldn't be complete without adding that loot system I was talking about. Now when I kill enemies such as this wolf, an instantiated instance of gold will drop. Sorry, I just had to add that. I just had to put that in there. Mm feels good to say. This gold of course will vary per enemy and and it might not always be gold later on in the game. It could be like a, maybe a new weapon or a new armor, you know, a health object, object, item, health item, you know, like some meat or something to restore HP. I really wanted to add more but time just really seems to escape when you are working on something like this. I spent most of my time testing and trying to fix old and new issues such as the waypoint system. It used to work but now all enemies do is move to Towards origin. Just thinking about it is making my hairline recede. So in the future I plan to add a shop system so I could spend that gold there. Maybe buy a few items like uh, health potions, some Rogaine, maybe a new sword or something. And in the next few months something I'm really excited for but also terrified about is adding character stats and a leveling system. That's all I have for you guys. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Please hit that like button for some bonus XP and you can always join the guild by subscribing to this channel. Take it easy. Bye.